Hi everyone, this is Sue's Journal Adventures here. Um, so today we're going to make a little project um, involving circles or frames, um, circle frames I'm doing. You could potentially actually do this with any frame. So if you've got heart frames or square frames or rectangular frames, it doesn't really matter on the shape. But we're going to be using frames, we're going to be using acetate, which I've pre-cut and then ripped the edge of it. I tried to um, die cut it. <laughs> acetate doesn't die cut very well. It does, but it, it's just me. I ripped it and that end I'm particularly cut very well. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of stamping and what else do we need? We need some foam pads, some little foam pads. So... Oh, and I also need a pink ink pad, which I just try and get out now. There we go, got that. Probably need a dauber then, so I'll get that. I thought I were prepared, you see. I was thinking I'm prepared and I'm not. So welcome back if you are joining me today. It's been a bit of a funny one for me this week because there's quite a bit of upheaval going on at the moment. Um it's good it's good it's nice um this room used to be a spare bedroom and it's got a big alcove which is where my crafting area is um but my son's moving back in with me so this used to be his bedroom um and he prefers this bed because we were going to swap bedrooms because i've got the craft area here but he prefers this room, so I'm moving my craft stuff downstairs because I've got an alcove in the lounge downstairs. So I'm going to be moving soon, which is, oh my days, I don't even want to think about it. Just looking at my desk, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's going to be like moving house. <laughs> but yeah, my son's back, which is nice. Um, But yeah, we've quite a few changes to make and he's got to sort stuff out and so hence why I haven't really been crafting much this week because he's, he's only just he came up last Sunday so it's been a busy week lots of chatting and lots of staying up late and getting up early and stuff but um I'm absolutely shattered now but for some reason I woke up at four this morning and I couldn't get back to sleep so what we're gonna do first of all actually first of all I'm gonna ink this I've got a little die cut over here and I want it pink. I tend to now, when I'm doing die cuts, I tend to cut them all out um, in white because then you can just colourise them any colour you want. So this is going a pearly pink because I just thought that would look pretty. I like pretty. I'm feeling I want pretty stuff today. So... Yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, my son's out today. He's actually gone um, down to where he used to live to see his little boy. So he's he's out all day and I'm like, yay, craft room. <laughs> Not that I couldn't have come in it. I mean, several times I've said to him, we've been sat downstairs and I've said, I feel like crafting. And he's like, well, go and craft then, mum. And I'm like, I can't because I don't know what I want to craft. <laughs> I don't know what I want to make. <laughs> he just looks at me like, all right. I'm like, I've got the urge to craft, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's really funny, isn't it? Just some kind of upheaval and then your mojo just goes, what's going on? And I, ca I honestly, there was a couple of times he said, go upstairs and craft. But I literally couldn't think of anything to make. And I'm like, what is going on? This doesn't look as pinky as I want it to look. But then again, this is a pink dauber and it's had other pinks on it. So it's possibly got some, uh, what's it called? Victorian velvet on there and some warm lipstick and whatever else. Taking my time with this. Huh? <laughs> 10 minutes just to colour it. I'm just, yeah, just want it to look nice <laughs> there we go right so that's done <clears throat> so 
so yeah the craft room is going to be on the move which in a way is a good thing because for a few weeks I've been thinking I really need to sort this I really need to sort it because I'm kind of running out of places to put stuff so I need to condense stuff and put up things together and you know make it a bit more practical in here um but yeah it's just a bit crazy at the minute so in a way it's going to make me um tidy it up oh actually do you know what shall i have a colored background or shall i leave it beige i think i'm gonna leave it beige where's my brown dog you can never find the brown you would think it'd be pretty obvious to you which one the brown is but they all look brown <laughs> right i'm just gonna very lightly now with your circles or your squares or your hearts or whatever you've got um you only need really to to do anything to the top one unless you're gonna have it in your journal as something that dangles then i would suggest you do the front and the back um but i'm not going to have it as a dangle i'm going to have it as a a stick down maybe even a pocket or maybe just a decoration on a page or i don't know yet i might just get creative with it and see what happens i just know i like it but i'm not um not a hundred percent sure of what it's going to actually be at the moment i'm going to get my small gathered twigs because i don't feel that inks up very well on that other one probably won't ink up very well on this one so i'm just going to do like a little random pattern around the edge can you all see me am i in frame i sometimes try to put my black thing nearer so i can see where i need to be because uh, i do have a habit of wandering wandering off camera sometimes so so yeah i've been watching a lot of videos this week and not much of all else really it's just uh he's been sorting his side of the room out and doesn't really have any furniture well he's, he has got furniture he's got a bed and he's got a tv cabinet tv and blah 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 my old dvd player and stuff but he doesn't have any drawers and he doesn't have any wardrobes <laughs> so paul has just got his clothes folded up all over the place <laughs> do you know I mean so it's all right carry on in it but you know we'll get there we'll get there and look i mean to be honest the way things have happened it has worked out really amazing um it's been wanting to come home for quite a while long story and i'm not going to go into it because it's his private life but um yeah it came up to home on sunday um and he'd he'd emailed his old employer that he had before he moved um he emailed them and said i might be looking for a job and they said we'll call in and have a chat so he came up here on sunday literally went to see his old employer and got his job back so on the monday i took him down and um to see his old employer and yeah he got his job back which is cool so he starts this monday coming he was willing to start earlier but i said no just just have a rest have a rest have a week off you know things have been happening you've moved it's a big thing moving but he has taken the week off he's got some stuff done that he needed to get done um so yeah there we go so my son's back with me again which is kind of it's lovely but it's kind of going to be a bit weird i think when i'm doing videos because <laughs> i might get a bit embarrassed because i was saying to him the other day i wanted to craft he's like well go craft mum and i'm like yeah but i need to make a video and he's like well make a video i can't think of anything to make but then i'm also thinking yeah but you're here that's going to be really weird <laughs> oh dear so um what am i doing okay so what we're doing is we have three circles guys we are making a 3d picture okay we're going to layer these up hence why you need the pads foam pads um so i'm going to pop my first acetate down 
and I'm actually going to glue this because in mine, if you're going to see the back, you might really not want to glue things down. Mine, you're not going to see the back because I think I might just half and use it as a pocket. Like I say, I might just have it as a decoration. I don't actually know at this moment in time what it's going to be. But um, yeah, I, I, I get inspiration from um, Pinterest a lot of the time. Sometimes I watch other crafters and some that they do makes me think, oh, 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 I could do that, but tweak. We've always got to tweak. I don't want to copy. Um, this was, I think, a, a My Porch Prince idea. I think it was Kyra again. Um, she's got some fabulous ideas. Um, so this is a Porch Prince idea. Sorry, just let me find my little um, tweezer unis. So yeah, I um I screenshot things if I like them and I'm like, oh that's cool. Um it might only be, I think I've said this before, it might only be something on a project that I see and develop what I can make out of it. Um so yeah, today I had the bright idea of uploading all my photos to my tablet. And now I'm like, yay, I can actually see. Because sometimes I look at a project and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the other. It kind of reminds me what I'm thinking of doing if I can see the picture of the screenshot. So I put them all onto Canva in little boxes, but then I can't see. <laughs> can't see them very well so I just thought you know what why don't you just share the photos to your tablet and have your tablet on your desk and then you can see the idea that you're taking from so oh I'm putting a lot on here aren't I? I just thought I need to do this on every level I think that's enough oh here we go here we go well actually I used to be quite good at picking these bits off when I was a card crafter, you kind of get used to doing them, don't you? And they come off fairly easy most of the time anyway. So yeah, you will need some little foam pads. Um, <clears throat> and some little bits just to layer up. Um, it can be whatever scene you want it to be. Obviously, if you watch me regularly and you know me, you'll know that mine's going to be a flowery scene. <laughs> Flowers and Butterfly Girl, that's me. I get all these pads off. Oopsie. Ah, there we go. We're back to the beginning. Get all them out of the way because they'll drive me mad and they'll stick to me all the time. So, and actually, do you know what? I think my craft room would be better downstairs because for the simple reason, um, I've lost my acetate. Where's all my acetate so oh, there. Um for the simple reason okay, I'm gonna do this. Um I'm on carpet in here and it's hard wheeling my chair back. You know, when I want to push my chair out and get something, it's hard on carpet, whereas in, in the living room I've got vinyl, so I've got vinyl flooring, so it'll be much, much more easier to move my chair and get stuff. And I do actually think that there's a little bit more space downstairs. Could be wrong, but I think there is. I think it's a slightly bigger alcove, so that'll be better. Right, that's layer two going down. Oops, I've got a bit of glue on there. Just get that off. Make sure my screen's clean. And that is going on to the pads. Oh, hopefully straight. Come on, Sue. Come on, Sue. Right. It's not exactly perfectly straight, but that will do. Right, layer two. I'm just having, if I can get hold of it. I've got a little bit of glue there, but it doesn't really matter. I actually am going to put a little bit of glue on this teeniest. Oh, actually, I better put the flowers on first. Because these flowers probably don't want them all the way down. I don't know if I want that rose in the middle now. Um, so I only want part of this, actually. 
probably maybe um maybe oh stop it maybe that much <laughs> and the other side maybe a bit more but not all of that so I'll chop that off might have this coming in a bit from the side actually oh if i can get the thing off so there we go oopsie from there coming in I'm building a 3D picture and I'm just going to stick this teeny little butterfly and it really is teeny oh, come on glue it's been quite nice it, well we've had loads of rain actually but a couple of days it's been quite nice lovely and sunny I just sat out in the garden this morning and my son come out and I said do you know what it's warmer out here than it is in the house i don't know where to put this because i've got another one to put on as well so this is going in the middle layer so i think uh, it's pink so i'll put it away from that plant right next layer acetate let's get the acetate on and then i'll put the pads on oh hello sim you're not allowed in here my son don't like your hairs everywhere. <laughs> He's a bit um, allergic to the cat hair, the pet hair. My daughter is as well. She's got a cat and a rabbit and she's fine having a cat. It's not one of them that affects your breathing. It's just um, if she touches the cat and then touches her face, she gets a really itchy skin and a bit, a bit rashy and jod. George's the same, he gets um, a bit rashy with the cats. Right, let's get all these pads on again. Oops, it's too far. I think I kind of don't want to put as many on this time, but you kind of want it to sit well spaced, I guess. Um, so yeah, this could be, I don't know, it could be a lot of things really. It could be a pocket, it could be, it could have um, a ribbon on it and be a dangle. Um, it could be a pocket. Oopsie. Um, it can be wherever you want it to be. I think it'd look nice with some um, ribbon, actually, it dangling. Let me get all these off again. These annoying little things. God, I used to have these all over my craft room before. They were all over the place. Because I used to make cards. <laughs> I used to use a lot of these foam pads. A lot. I've stuck two quite close together then. And a bit of a gap in between. Never mind. New worries. And I've got a little bit of acetate sticking out there. Hope you can see me. Again, I'm just waffling away here, telling you my life story. I'm not even looking if I'm on camera. <laughs> oh dear. So, there we go. Get off my finger. Are we there yet? No, we're not. Oh, right. Okay, so I've got my decorated front. On the foam pads, whoopsie. Let's try and stick it over properly, Sue. <laughs> there we go. And then on the very top, I've got this, which I cut round all the others before I came on camera, so you didn't have to watch me doing the boring stuff. And then I've come on here and not cut this one. I'm not majorly sure I want this in the middle. I feel like I want something else, but... It's here and I'm doing it, so there we go. So this is a bigger flower. It's a bit too big. Anyway, it's going on. It's going on. Stop waffling. It's going on. I just chop that off. I think it needs to be down a bit more. So you get like a 3D effect because you've got stuff on every level. You're building it up. This chair is so creaky. I need to find my WD-40. Right, so I'm having that on there, and I'm having this little blue guy. Oh, I've got to wait for blue now. 
I should have sat it upside down in the tub. Bit of glue, not a load, and just stick that on there. And this little project, my lovelies, is done. If I can get a pin in the glue. Um, oh no, it ain't done. It ain't done. So I'm going to have this guy on the edge, I think. Could have had another flower on the edge or whatever. But yeah, you could literally make this with anything. You know, you could have it a, a clocks theme or just butterflies and birds, animals, insects, whatever, whatever you want it to be. I've just put, oh, you know, I've stood it up again and put pin in it, haven't I? Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't have to be a circle. It can be a square, a rectangle, whatever shape you've got. Whatever shape you're good at cutting out if you don't have any dies. Um, I think a heart one would be really pretty with stuff in the middle. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, you know, the world is your oyster. So I'm just going to stick him on the edge. And we are done with our 3D window inspired by Kyra at my porch prints. Oopsie. Um, mine does not look like hers <laughs> but there we go and I don't know if you can see we've got three three levels on pads so it's each um, piece of acetate is layered so you are getting a really kind of 3d effect going through there um, and I hope you enjoyed that video so today when my son's out I'm going to be video crazy I've got three more projects lined up on my desk <laughs> so i'll see you on the next one guys thank you so much for watching thank you for being there thank you for waiting around for me because it's it's it has been actually a whole week maybe over a week actually but yeah thank you for watching and i hope you like the project see you soon guys bye for now